is literally what I've wanted to do since I was in the sixth grade. How many people actually get to do what they wanted to be since the sixth grade? My name is Renee Serafoss and I've worked for the EPA for eight years. I do have a lot of responsibility, especially now that I'm acting chief scientist. It's kind of an honor to be able to run something like this and to be able to talk to the BOLD crew about what I want to do. The BOLD, besides it just being kind of a vehicle and an instrument for us collecting our data, it's also a means of completing or fulfilling EPA's mission, which is to protect human health and the environment. It's one thing to enable the states to do their work and to oversee the states, but I think it's another thing for EPA members to actually go out there and collect the data themselves. I think it's very important that we walk our walk and we talk our talk, so that if we say you need to do this because, that we should have scientists that are capable of understanding how to collect those samples, how to process those samples, and what the data is going to mean at the end of the day. We have a lot of younger people on this cruise on purpose. The reason why I've mixed the younger crew with the older crew is that I'm trying to have succession planning occur so that we have the transfer of knowledge from the people who have done it for almost 100 years to the people who are very excited and enthusiastic about it with the hopes that I can train them to be watch captains and to have them return in the future so that we can collect data that is good data and that I can um, communicate that to the public and give it to the states. This is what I wanted to do since I was in the sixth grade. Um, I saw a school program that really intrigued me and I decided right then and there that I wanted to help marine mammals and over the years it's evolved to uh, my background now which is chemical oceanography. So it's really a dream come true for me.